welcome with a round of applause our first contestant for this round, Menu from the Western Region. Ghana for a two-month-old for my family, the Commissioner General of GRE, the Deputy Commissioner LTU. The Assistant Deputy Commissioner, Dr. Martin Yamborija, Mr. Quist, Mr. Hazel, Mr. Austin. In fact, all the staff of the Large Taxpayer Office of Ghana Revenue Authority. And my fans out there, thank you all so, so much for your support so far. We've only been able to come this far by God's grace and your support. So please keep supporting. I, Menu, have your safety at heart. And so tonight, I stand to create awareness on how to prevent or even defend yourself when you face certain security threats. Please help me win the ultimate crown by dialing star 713 star 13 hash on all networks. Or you can download the TV3 Reality app on Google Play Store or the App Store to vote for me. My name is Menu, M-A-N-G. Thank you. Menu is clothed by Eliza Fashion, with hair by Best and More Limited. Ladies well-groomed by African American Beauty Academy. Inspiring beauty beyond borders. Accessories by Magdal Kutu. Why do we have to live our lives in fear? Why do we always have to wake up feeling insecure? Because we stand at risk of getting robbed, raped, or even murdered. Why can't your children enjoy their freedom? And anytime they are out, you may as well be hit by hypertension. Because you can't seem to keep a cool head of their whereabouts. Kidnapping is rampant while robbery has become the order of the day. I can't imagine how the families of the Takwade missing girls feel. All the psychological trauma the woman who was kidnapped at about seven must have gone through. What about the woman who was robbed on the Achimota Highway on her way from the bank in broad daylight? And several others being murdered in cold blood at the least resistance. Have you wondered why a 53-year-old man would rape his own stepdaughter and niece? Yes, this issue happened in Kaswa, and the matter was settled amicably without applying any laws. This man even grew enough wings to rape his 13-year-old biological daughter. What is happening? I could afraid to your body. I could be the next victim. You could be the next victim. The annual crime statistics of the annual of the police state that in 2020, there were 342 overall unique cases of crimes like robbery, kidnapping, and rape, of which women and children suffered the most. What are we as civilians doing to curb this menace? Are we only looking up to the security agencies for a resolve? It is true that the Ghana Police Service was constitutionally established to maintain law and order. Chapter 15, Article 200, Clause 3 of the 1992 Constitution clearly states the roles of the police, which include detection and prevention of crime, apprehension and prosecution of offenders, and ensuring the safety of individuals and property. Notwithstanding, the police cannot be everywhere with us, in our homes or our workplaces. And that is why there is a need for us to practice personal security so that we can be safe on the streets, safe in our homes, safe everywhere we go. Like these, there are ways by which we can defend ourselves and then call out to the police. <laughs> This is a clear way by which you can defend yourself when you are attacked from behind. If we as a people understand that safety does not happen by accident, then 
we can make deliberate efforts to ensure our safety. This is also a way that you can defend yourself when you are attacked from the side. People say that you can never be too careful in life. Well, I beg to differ. We can avoid those threats against our security if we are given the right safety education. I am taking over nationwide in alliance with the Ghana Police Service, beginning from my region, to teach people how they can stay safe. I would embark on school tours to conscientize our kids on how they can stay safe. I would also form community cadets where our women and children who usually fall victims to these will be taught some safety tips and trained on how they can defend themselves should the unfortunate happen. I'm also going to embark on a media soiree to educate the entire national populace. I, Menu, have noticed this very phenomenon. I want to teach you, you, and you to be your own police. Be your own police so that our streets can be safe again. generation and the most vulnerable against security threats. We say enough is enough. All we seek is awareness creation against security threats. We stand with Menu. Remember that the Ghana Police Service is very competent, visible and accessible to us. But they cannot be everywhere with us. And so we must learn to be our own police. His Excellency Nanado Dankwayo Kufuado, Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. <laughs> Dr. Ekufu Dampere, the acting IGP, and the entire police force, I salute you, and I thank you so much for your immense support so far. Taking up a security project may not be an easy task, and may cost me a lot, but I stand to change the narrative of a beauty queen. Remember, you are secured with me. Thank you. Menu representing the Western region. Wow. <laughs> Janet, you are clapping and giving her a thumbs up. What are your thoughts on her performance? Sweetheart. I'm so proud of you. When you started, your eloquence, your passion, and Menu, I know you're daring because that's what you said. And you know, immediately you picked your instrument. I knew you were going to bring it. Today, Menu, you rose to the highest expression of yourself. Well done. I see some tears in your eyes. These are tears of joy, Menu. Whatever happens tonight, you are a winner. Whatever happens tonight. Well done, girl. Well done coming from Janet. Auntie Linda, what are your thoughts as well? Menu, good presentation. Um, I was looking to hear stakeholders. You mentioned schools. I was looking to hear partners. You mentioned Ghana police. Initially, when I heard your topic, I thought it should be a subset of security in general. But tonight, you have told us that it is security in general. Awareness creation against security threats. Excellent presentation. I Excellent go. presentation coming from Auntie Linda. All right, Menu. 
This is your question. Kindly listen attentively. And it says, agriculture contributes up to 54% of Ghana's GDP and accounts for over 40% of export earnings. Yet young people who leave school do so with the intention of getting a good job in the already choked job market. What, in your view, are some of the policies that should be implemented to encourage the youth to consider going into agriculture? Thank you very much for the question. Um, first of all, as you rightly stated, agriculture contributes 54% to Ghana's GDP, which means that it is the backbone of our economy. Ghana cannot do without agriculture. So I would propose that right from infancy, instead of our teachers teaching us that white color jobs are more of jobs than agriculture, they can teach us that agriculture being the backbone of Ghana's economy can be a very, very good job that we can also venture into. It can actually be lucrative. They can teach us this from the beginning and instill it into us. And even after that, um, to make sure that the agricultural business is lucrative, I propose that we, the government creates a market for agriculture in the sense that he patronizes more locally made or locally produced agricultural products instead of importing. For instance, a product that rice, if we rather purchase that of the local producers instead of importing, if the government invests into local producers of rice and feeds them to our hospitals, our schools and prisons, then the youth would be enticed to go into agriculture because they would find it more lucrative because there's already an existing market for it. Also, I propose that loans and grants be granted to the youth who have interest in venturing into agriculture because some of them may have pieces of land but may not have enough capital to venture into the business and so we can give them loans support them as they grow their business thank you very much all right thank you so much Min